Hello buddy, Senior Engineer MBA and Investor and today's video, I want to make a special video and this is of course me being in Portugal, a Lisbon, a beautiful city, beautiful country. Uh, I am here on a Saturday, I just arrived an hour ago and it's about 3 p.m. on this beautiful Saturday, quite sunny, beautiful view. Um, and I think for you folks back in America, specifically in the Eastern time zone, it's about 10 a.m. as I make this video. Uh, and I did mention in last video yesterday night that I was, um, the next video would be here in Portugal. And that's what you have here. That's exactly what I'm delivering to you guys. Um, and you know, I didn't want to make a video specifically about me being Portugal. Actually, I wanted to talk, make a follow up on Calibu's data. Uh, so my first video actually was two days ago when the data was released. Uh, I published a video. I believe I was the first and still am the first YouTuber to cover Calibu, especially the latest data. Um, and if there's any other videos on Caribou, I bet you it'll be more specific to the price action rather than the science behind it. Um, but anyways, I digress. Um, yesterday's video was about the public reaction, which we took a look at both sides. People saying, yeah, it's not a big deal. And the other side of the people saying, yeah, this is pretty big. Caribou's are here to stay. You know, they're, they're a serious deal. And you have to factor them in now, at least in the top three top four CRISPR companies in this space. Uh, so a couple of mixed opinions. And of course, today's video, I wanted to, you know, I, as I was in the airplane, uh, the flight was about six hours. I was thinking about this. I mean, I, I, I was listening to podcast episodes, you know, the usual stuff you guys do when you're in an airplane jam in a really, really packed airplane with almost no space. Uh, but I was thinking about it. You know, I, I think it's just beautiful how how far we've come in the CRISPR landscape. I remember when I first started making uh, YouTube videos, you know, last year, a little bit over a year ago at this point, back in March 2021, we were at a certain point with science, with CRISPR, and where we are today, you know, you look at more data from CRISPR therapeutics, more data from NTLA. Actually, we didn't even have data at the time from NTLA. Uh, we had data only from Editas and CRISPR therapeutics. And now we have so much data right now to play with um, and now we have, of course, further IPOs, including Caribou, who was not public company at the time. I made uh, my first YouTube video, which again was back in March 2021. Um, so lots of things happened in the space. I think there was this uh, episode I was listening to with the All In podcast with Chamar and Jason Kalikinik and, 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 and David Sachs and Friedberg. And Friedberg actually mentioned that over 40% of biotech companies, as we speak, market cap are actually below what cash they have in the balance sheet, right? Think about this, right? If you have $500 million cash in your balance sheet, in your bank, uh, the likelihood of you being under uh, market cap value, under that value is actually about 40% right now. That just shows how macros have been uh, quite terrible in this uh, uh, volatile market and lots of issues, of course, the Russia invasion in Ukraine, but even before then, you know, before that, it was the federates and all that good stuff. So uh, lots of things happening. I mean, you're, you're, you're living in a period where we're living this post-pandemic boom. Uh, like I said, I was in the airplane, it was packed. I mean, people in airports are crazy. I mean, in Toronto airport, it's just crazy, right? You would think that uh, even today, uh, people be uh, conservative with what's going on, but definitely not the case. But lots of um, lots of uh, macro environments right now, and I think it's really really important sometimes to take take a look at the big picture, right? And, and and although it's important to look at the macros as us as investors in this space, we always want to look at the science behind it. I think it's a congratulation again to all shareholders, all stakeholders involved. I think it's an amazing, amazing time to live in. And I think, um, like I said in yesterday's video, uh, I think if you're in this space to listen to MBAs rather than the science itself, then I truly believe this may be the wrong space for you. But if you're in it for the long run, if you're looking at the science, I truly believe there's going to be a lot of good things happening this year towards the end of the year for sure with CRISPR therapeutics potentially approving 
or, or at least submitting for FDA approval of CTX001. So I'll end this video like this. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Do like this video, do smash the like button, and don't forget to, to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And I'll go spend some time here in Portugal. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.